the beauty of sharing experiences is the impact. The impact that it makes on people uh, in, in making the right decision or saving money and time. Uh, moving abroad is not easy, it's always challenging uh, and we all have our own experiences and it can help someone if you decide to share it. Um, apart from my videos, I've now decided to bring all the immigrant stories together uh, and share it with everyone as I know it makes a lot of difference. So you know my story and experiences, how about you share yours? Uh, hi, Rajit. Thank you so much for uh, you know sharing your your story with with uh, everyone. Uh, this is this is something that I've been trying to do: uh, bring stories where you can share your experience and give some inputs to people who want to come here. Um, so thank thank you once again. Let's okay. start with uh, with a quick introduction about yourself. So, so I'm basically from Bijnor, Uttar Pradesh, India. Right. And I'm I came here from Amasu in 2015. Right. And started working here from 2016 in one of the MNC here. And I'm actually working in AI domain. That's all. Nice. So you're working in AI domain, yeah. which is actually quite uh, good mm -hmm. uh, in in demand in the market. Hot, very hot in the market. Really? <laughs> um, yeah, so, so so you've been here, what, three years now? Almost three years. Uh, has, has it been a good experience so far? Oh, uh, it's a, actually a really good experience. Got the best buddies. So. Really nice. So so let's let's go back to, you know, when you decided to come here for your master's. How was the, the decision making? Like how, how did the entire process go along? Uh, so after completing my bachelor's in 2014, I was doing one of uh, internship in Delhi. Right. So I was, but there was a uh, like I I want to go to abroad for my master. So there were some countries in my mind, but I had one school friend here. So he was in here. So he actually came, he also came in 2014. So he told me why don't you try Ireland because I had some constraint like one one was budget one was time. Uh, and Alan was fulfilling both of them, so I was okay. Let's why not give a try? And uh, it have a good, Ireland have a good IT opportunities. I started looking into it, and then uh, my friend told me one of the counselor, and I got connected with her. And then she told me about I told her my requirements. She told me about the options, and then at, she gave me several options. But at one point, we have to make a decision. Okay. Uh, I think that's very important. Yeah. yeah. So, that's so how did you, how did you, so, so when, so you said that the counselor suggested you a few universities or op options there, um, did you do your own research as well, uh, is, is that something that helped you in making the decision or selecting a university? Yeah, obviously because ho your own home homework is a key, Okay. because you, ca you can't rely on some, some, uh, some, someone else's judgment, right. because you need to be sure, okay, you took this decision, you yeah. need, okay. So that's why you, you need to do your own homework. So I did that mine and like because at, I remember there was a stage like where I had to select one of the offer because I, I had an offer from three universities here but I need to go for one. So that there my homework is. Okay, so I think I think a lot of people here would actually benefit from this. A uh, lot of people have asked me this question. So what happens is you apply for universities and the reason you do that is you if you definitely want to come here and do your masters you want to have a backup. So you, you have your preferences and then you want to have a backup. So if this university accepts you, wait. If not, you want to have a second you, option. You, you should have a backup. But, but I think that's where comes your point, which is doing your homework. If you've done your homework and you know that these are the universities that I need to select. This is something I, I always tell yeah. uh, people that, you know, always look at what is the course that you want to do and what does the university uh, give you for that course and if you can benefit from it but thank I mean I, that, that completely makes sense um, so when you actually finalized uh, and, and came here uh, you know coming to a new country were there any interesting experiences um, that you can th th think of yeah th there were actually many but I remember two three I think so yeah so one was accent one was weather and a bit of terminology because there are some things which you say something like uh, in India we say for the blanket it's blanket but here it's duvet so yeah and if I come to accent yeah so initial week of my university was like I'm watching an English movie without a subtitle <laughs> oh, that's, 
See, I think yeah, there's going to be a difference in the accent, uh, which you know usually you get sort of used to, and then it becomes much easier. I still remember my first day was the same. I couldn't really understand much, uh, but again, it gets better as you as you have time. So that's good. Um, now, you know, while you were in college, you know, before going uh, there, of course. You had to find a place. Yeah. For finding accommodation, was there anything specific that helped you, and would you that that you would recommend? Uh, yeah. So I would, what I would recommend is like when I I was I I finalized my university. Yeah. So I connected with many like of the people who were like who are about to join that batch, uh-huh. and from there I got some good friends right. who are really good friends of mine at this moment. Uh, yeah. So we we together actually booked a hostel, a year hostel in our university and then we moved together yeah so so knowing people and connecting with them really helped you in finding yeah. this okay i think i think that's the key here so if you can connect with people uh, it's always going to help you especially with, with finding accommodation like rachit said so i think that's that's uh, that's really useful as well uh, so once you found the place like during your college how was you know how was the, of course the educational system is different uh, are there any key things that you had to do when you were here in college doing your masters yeah so there were actually many things like in our country uh, the college provide you placements but here you have to go apply yourself and if you are selected if your resume is got selected you will get an interview call there will be no college won't college will help you how to go till that way but they won't tell you okay they won't bring companies for you okay okay there is a campus placement come go no they will be like all over the island apply your resume if you go you are right. good and for doing your masters i would say like master is not tough here it's actually not tough here yeah. but there's key things like you you need to be you need to do your homework basically you, you need you need to have a to do nature yeah you need to uh, for completing the assignments and all yeah. that's all nothing else yeah. i completely agree uh, doing your own work is actually very important as well so now once you graduated Uh, and you started applying for jobs and like you said you just had an internship back from home which means you almost started like a fresher yeah was absolutely. it was it was it was it challenging um finding work yeah it was challenging because the the batchmate uh, everyone was experienced like the minimum experience a person would have in my batch was like 3 years or 4 years so it, it was like uh, like i was afraid honestly but yeah but my friends were really very supportive to me i would i would say stuff Uh, people here like yeah. don't get disheartened by yeah. uh, after getting rejection because yeah. there will be a company waiting for you yeah. where or there will be a company or there will be a job which you will love more and uh, or you will be like more happy so that yeah. so that yeah yeah i think i think that's all that i always tell people in this you know in, in all my videos i think he rachit has really made a good point here which is rejections uh, you know it is a part of your job application uh so it will happen but that's okay you need to you need to do better every time and then something will work out for you anyway uh and also um like he said it it is about doing uh the right things at the right time so even though there were experienced people in his class it was a, it was a bit scary i came as a fresher like i said in my videos it, it it does get a bit scary when people start getting jobs in your class and you you're not getting even interview calls it can put you a little bit down um but you know you have to 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 stay positive and and look at the positives but yeah with the directions like you get to learn more like okay yeah. what you do is very important point yeah you get to learn more and what you can improve in 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 your resume because i remember like i i had like some a lot number of resumes yeah. like and with the job i'm working yeah uh was my finest as you may i would say not finest but yeah almost finest yeah so i know why i, I think i think it gets better with every application yeah. and that's the key here like if you don't learn what you've made before you've done wrong you're never going to have your cv change and, and that's right and, and always ask when you get a reaction always ask a recruiter why you were like absolutely i think that that's a key point like then you can work on your resume or your profile i think that's a key one here so i think yeah good good points there like in terms of interviews so now you you working you how yeah. happy are you and and is it is it an interesting area especially ai yeah so i did my masters in data science and i'm working in an ai domain yeah. so that related basically even that top of it so i'm really happy that my job includes writing research papers implementing them uh start working in python uh, like basically it's core data science job 
Okay. Yeah. That would certainly help. I think I think that's key. Like every so the research never stops. I think it's an ongoing process <laughs> yes. anyway. It it never stops. Research goes on, and you you need to learn it. Like sometimes you have to learn on a very uh, like fast pace. Sometimes you can be uh, learning on a relaxed pace. So so, so 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 I think so even if even if like Rachid said now he's working. he still has to do a lot of research he has to read papers he has to then try and implement those things which means you'll have to do it in college you'll have to do that work and that tells you that you have to start researching and you have to do it on your own uh i think that's the key here i but i think you've pretty much given a lot of inputs here on every uh, phase which is what i try to share with uh, people uh any any final sort of um you know thoughts where people watching who want to do their masters or want to come here for work and want to work in ai what um, do you think you recommend if i look in 2014 or 15 yeah so have a good connection with the people do your own research about the college so that you don't regret about your what decision you have made for choosing your masters right. uh in the job perspective i would say uh have a good linkedin profile I would say good. At least have your LinkedIn profile. It will get better by the by time by time. Yeah. Um, don't fake your resume. Uh, for example, like if you have wrote any of the skills, you should know about that skills. Okay. Uh, in general, I would say respect people and the respect on uh, respect the rules of the country because you are on a foreign land. Okay. So I think that that sounds that that's very important. Last point here. You know, when you when you move to a new country, the the, the country has certain rules. Uh, the people live in a certain way. you know so when you come here do respect them uh, you know and do respect the rules as well it certainly helps you in in working as well so thanks again rachit uh, i think this is going to help a lot of people and thank you for your time always